A tense exchange between two members of Congress has gained the attention of millions of Americans. In a speech on the House floor yesterday, Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez blasted a Republican congressman over what unfolded during a confrontation on the Capitol steps. Ed O'Keefe is on Capitol Hill with more on this story. Ed, what was the reaction to her speech? Well, Gail, good morning. House Democrats rallied around the New York Congresswoman as they called out what they say is a broader culture of sexism up here on Capitol Hill, where women make up just a quarter of the House and Senate. Representative Yoho put his finger in my face. He called me disgusting. He called me crazy. He called me out of my mind. New York Democrat Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez Thursday rejected the apology of Florida Republican Ted Yoho for a confrontation in which a member of the press overheard him using a misogynistic slur. In front of reporters, Representative Yoho called me, and I quote, bitch. Ocasio-Cortez says Yoho made the remark when he confronted her on the steps of the U.S. Capitol Monday over her recent comments about poverty being a root cause of crime. On Wednesday, he apologized for the heated confrontation, but strongly denied using those words towards his colleague. Having been married for 45 years with two daughters, I'm very cognizant of my language. The offensive name-calling uh, words attributed to me by the press were never spoken to my colleagues. And so what I believe is that having a daughter does not make a man decent. Having a wife does not make a decent man. Treating people with dignity and respect makes a decent man. On Thursday, Ocasio-Cortez denounced what she calls a pattern of dehumanizing behavior by men. This issue is not about one incident. It is cultural. It is a culture of lack of impunity, of accepting of violence and violent language against women, in an entire structure of power that supports that. Her emotional speech triggered an outpouring of support from other female Democrats. I was also told in Judiciary Committee to learn how to read by another one of my members across the aisle. These are the things that happen to us all the time. I can tell you that firsthand. They've called me names for at least, at least 20 years of leadership, 18 years of leadership. Top Republican leaders say they believe that Yoho's apology was sufficient. Many Democrats feel otherwise. They don't even think he really apologized at all. And in a sign of how extraordinary this moment was, the congressional TV network C-SPAN says that its clip of the congresswoman's speech was the most retweeted clip ever, with, at this point, more than 10 million views. Gail? Wow. Oh, that's impressive. Listen, let me tell you something, Ed. I think women, Democrats and Republicans, Everywhere are applauding uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and several good men are also giving her a round of applause. Was have say. you ever seen anything like this? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, was thinking, I was thinking you were going to say that. Have you ever seen anything like this in, in Congress? No, but we did ask the House historians, and they said yes. In the past, there have been some examples of people using four-letter words, uh, just not in the TV age. And so it's, uh, it clearly was a, a standout moment, just for that reason, if anything. Yeah, it's more than the four-letter words. I think we could all take some of her decency class lessons. Very well done. Thank you very much.